morning, everyone. Welcome to World Class here on Morning Talk, where your hosts, I'm Jane. And I'm Ian. Having to master playing a piano takes not only talent, but of course, time, patience, endurance, and a lot of hard work. Yes, Jane. And our guest today is one such achiever who, at a very young age, has several performance awards, including the Best Pianist in the Golf Award, as well as the International Chopin Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very pleased to have with us today... Charles Edward, Edward Fernandez. Fernandez. But before that, we'll be back after our short break. Welcome back to World Class. Good morning, Charles. Good morning. So Charles, at what age did you start playing the piano? Uh, well, I'm 17 now, and I've been playing for about 11 years. So I was six when I started. Okay. Charles, at a very young age, what attracted or has anyone inspired you to play a piano? Uh, definitely my parents, because they both play the piano. And uh, the piano has been there since before I was born. So somebody or the other always played the piano every day. So. I think that what inspired me. A family of musicians. So Charles, um, do you play other instruments? Uh, well, aside from the piano, um, I do play the guitar. Uh, my dad's a guitarist, so he taught me how to play the guitar. And uh, I do play the occasional harmonica as well for some piano songs. And that's about it. So Charles, could you tell us uh, what grades have you accomplished in music? Well, I took performance exams from the Associated Board of the Royal Schools of Music, which is the ABRSM, here in Kuwait. And they divide their exams into grades, and there are eight grades, and the higher you go, the harder it gets. I've done them all, and uh, I finished my grade eight about five years ago. And after that, I did my diploma of the ABRSM, which took me three years to prepare for, and I did that two years ago. Quite impressive. So, could you please tell us how many recitals have you done so far? Well, here in Kuwait, I've done three major recitals. My first recital was uh, two years ago at the Radisson Blue Hotel in the Hashimi. And my, my second major recital was at school, at my school, the British School of Kuwait. Uh, that was in November of last year. And my third major recital was just last month in June. Well, that's two months ago. And uh, that's the biggest recital I ever had, and it was about 300 people. Could you tell us your first professional performance abroad? Well, the first time I traveled abroad uh, to perform would be about four years ago, where I participated in the Young Musicians of the Gulf Music Competition. And there I won the award for the best ensemble, where I was the pianist for a group where there was a violinist and a flutist as well. Uh, I went back to the competition in 2011 and I won the award for the best pianist in the Gulf, under 16. So Charles, which do you consider your most memorable performance and why is that so? I would say one of the most memorable performances would be in Macedonia in 2010 where I took part in the Ahrid Pearls piano competition and I performed for the first time on a Steinway Grand Piano which is a dream for every pianist. Another memorable moment would be in 2010 as well, where I performed in Frederick Chopin's house in Zelazowa Wola in Poland. And that was an extraordinary performance uh, because it's one thing to play Chopin's music outside his house, but in his house it's a whole lot different experience. Another memorable performance would be my recital two months ago, because that was my first major performance for a lot of people. I'm just curious, with who do you dream of performing someday? Um, well, I think for a pianist, the question should be with which orchestra would you dream of performing with rather than just one famous person. Uh, I think the Boston Symphony Orchestra definitely and the London Symphony Orchestra would be my main two. How have these performances developed you as a person? Well, I think these performances have definitely made me more confident in everything that I do. And uh, also, like, it requires me to work hard, which sort of makes me work hard not in other areas other than piano. So that's good as like a general aspect. 
Charles, you're still very young, but I'm sure that there are a lot of things that you still would want to do. But I'd like to know, what are your plans in the future? Oh, well, right now, next month, I'm off to the Oberlin Conservatory in Ohio, USA, where I have a scholarship. And I'll be, uh, I'll be doing my Bachelor's of Music in Piano Performance. It's a four-year course. After that, um, there's the Master's course, which is two years. And then I'm not sure what I'll be doing after that. I have to see where it takes me. Charles, could we have your message to the young viewers out there who would like to excel in music as well? I think my main message would be, uh, if you don't like it, don't do it. Uh, because everybody starts off doing something new, and they either like it or they don't. If they like it, they continue with it, and then they're happy. But if they don't like it, some people still continue doing it, and then they end up in a very unhappy job. So if you don't like it, don't do it.